It is time to talk about our newborn essentials or newborn must-haves. I am a second-time mom currently having a six-week-old. So these are the products that we have been using mostly every day, products that have made our life so much easier. I did link everything down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. The feeding category. If you are a breastfeeding mom or bottle feeding mom, bobby pillows are life-changing. I am a breastfeeding mom so using this makes a world of a difference especially at the beginning when you don't know how exactly to hold them they're learning to latch and, and there's so many little pieces that you have to keep up with having this helps pop them on top and you can breastfeed them another thing we use this for is tummy time just overall a great purchase burp cloths so our favorite ones are these it's from amazon I'll, again i will link everything down below we did get those muslim burp cloths from Amazon that everybody seems to love. I'm not the biggest fan of them. They're kind of thin. We use this when we give her a bath, basically. We get it wet with warm water, put it on top of her to keep her warm, or underneath her to keep her warm. Not our favorite. This, however, much better. Much thicker, long enough. Perfect. I'm not sure if, if formula fed babies need vitamin D drops, but breastfed babies do need these vitamin D drops. These are my favorite and specifically the ones that require only one drop, those are my favorite. The ones that I currently have is Mommy's Bliss Organic Drops Baby Vitamin D. It's just one drop. What I do, I just put it on top of my nipple and feed her, or you can just drop one drop in the bottle and it does the job. Another thing that is good to have a hand that we have used, not as frequently as I thought we would, but it's still great to have on hand, is this Mylocon drops, is the gas relief drops. Um, our pediatrician actually recommended specifically this brand. It's good to have to help your baby uh, whenever they get gassy and they can't really pass gas this just helps them out a drying rack and the one that we have is perfect it is a horizontal rack you can put baby bottles there breast pump parts it holds a lot and it doesn't take a lot of space next we'll move to bathing items the baby bath that we have is the angel care baby bath it does the job it's cheap especially for newborn days it's like a silicone fairly comfortable for her it's got all these holes so the warm water can like sit on her back so far we are enjoying this this baby thermometer because it is essential to know to make sure that the water is not too cold or not too hot so i did get this it's i believe it's like dr brown's brand it's a digital thermometer and also has a little section here for storage purposes so this is what we ended up getting and another thing that i had to purchase is this baby frida rinser what i do like is that it has these little holes here it's a little more control I'm using this specifically on her head so it doesn't go all over her must have in my opinion baby washcloths we did purchase one pack of washcloths but i recommend you getting more what we use the washcloths for are not just bath time we use it to wipe her when when it's not bath time because we do not bathe her every day and i don't believe you should bathe your newborn every day you can give her like a washcloth bath whenever she wakes up and she's got all those like gunky things on her face she's got milk around her mouth or she's got little boogers we use clean washcloth multiple times a day so i definitely would recommend purchasing a few packs of washcloths i will put our favorites up here and down below they're very soft they're a good size they're not too small they're thick soft everything bath towels i do like the hooded bath towel the ones that we got we put on our registry was the ones from the target brand now i don't hate them they're nice i like that they have the hooded part however i do know there's better types of hooded towels out there i still stand by i am a hooded towel mom i love hooded towels because you can put that on top of their head and keeps them warm i know there's thicker types of hooded towels definitely look into those kinds of 
um, towels for baby, for your baby. Sleeping category. Let's talk about the pacifier. So I know each baby is different. What ours loves is this Wobbon Up. That's the only pacifier she would take. We only have one, so definitely need to purchase a few more just without the, the little plushie. This is the Avent, I believe, Wobbon Up. Again, I will have everything down below. That's something that she uses and we're happy that she does. Here is currently where she is sleeping. That's the bassinet that we have. During the nighttime, of course, this bassinet it sits on my side. I do like that it opens up here so I can easily grab her in the middle of the night. It does have storage there. It's a mess right now, but that's how it usually works. It looks like I do keep a burping cloth right there so that I can breastfeed her and breastfeed her in the bed during night times. So it just works best for me. I would not recommend particularly this brand, although I love how it looks and just the quality itself. The biggest thing that I'm not enjoying is the pad here. It's very thin and it's very uncomfortable. I'm not a biggest fan of that, but everything else I enjoy though. And of course, what kind of sleeping category without swaddles. So I'll talk about our favorite swaddles. Surprisingly enough, our favorite swaddle is Happiest Baby. So it's like the snoo swaddle. I like that she cannot get out of it. It's very baby proof. Close it and from the bottom as well here. And then on top of that, after you close her in, there's a zipper so you can Close her all the way here, and this is how it looks. She gets um, annoyed at the beginning, but then it helps her sleep. So um, definitely like this, and then it has these, when she's ready to sleep with her arms out, it does have this opening. So overall, a great swaddle. Our next favorite one is Halo Sleep Sack Swaddle. We didn't purchase these. These were given to us from the hospital, but I'm sure you know what Halo Swaddles look like. Basically a little sack here. Again, you close it, it's from top. You close it and then after you close it, you swaddle them with, with these things here. I know it's terrible. I'll, I'll figure out how to show you guys this in a better way but she likes these as well and the ones that I actually did purchase uh, are these swaddles from swaddle me all you do is just a cup put them in and you swaddle and that's it i'll put a picture of it but those are our favorite swaddles um and again this happiest baby swaddle did purchase this second hand i like kid to kid store and they were brand new in the box and I paid like four dollars for them. So definitely check out those secondhand baby stores. They do have a lot of new things at a very good price. So definitely check that out. We do enjoy the little muslin swaddle blanket. It looks like this. We have a few on hand. They're very light. They're a good size. What I use it for is every time we go out, I would put this over her car seat or over her stroller. So one, if there's like sun, it just covers her, keeps her protected. If we're in a store, again, it keeps her protected. I use this also as a regular, as a little blanket. And another thing I use this is breastfeeding. If I'm out and about or in the car and she's hungry, I just put this over and I am breastfeeding her and she's happy. So very versatile thing. Definitely get yourself a few, have them on hand. We've been loving these. Another thing that we have been using a lot is the baby monitor. And the one that we have is Hello Baby. It is, I believe, a Bluetooth. Here is like the monitor. It works very well. Every time we put her to sleep in her room, or upstairs and we are downstairs we always just put this on regardless of where she is and keep an eye on her and we can hear her very well through the monitor it's a very good price on Amazon we definitely recommend this one we have been using it almost every day another thing that I've been enjoying a lot is this glider I like breastfeeding here while I'm watching TV currently it's in our room but eventually probably we'll go into her nursery or honestly i'm enjoying it in our room i love this thing it's from amazon 
It is perfect. When it comes to diapering, we tried Pampers Pure, Pampers Swaddle, Swaddles. We have used Kirkland, we have used, uh, was it Millie Moon? We have tried Huggies. I feel like we've tried definitely uh, a wide range of diapers. Our favorites so far are Millie Moon diapers, Huggies, Little Snugglers, and Kirkland brand from Costco. I did purchase a lot of different types of diapers, so we use what we have, of course, but those are definitely our tops. The reason we like it is because they're much softer. It's easier to put on her. They're very almost like stretchy and they keep the things inside, if you know, you know. When it comes to wipes, I bought a lot of Pampers wipes, sensitive wipes, and I do enjoy those. What I don't like is whenever you grab one, it's stuck to everything else, so you need two hands to just grab the wipes out. These ones are actually a little better. These are the Huggies Natal Natural Care Sensitive Fragrance Free. When you grab one, as you can see, it's just stuck a tiny bit. You just need like a pinky and it's good. And you don't have to wiggle around so much to grab just one wipe. So that's not something I took in consideration when I purchased in bulk, but obviously we will be using it. It's, it works, it's a wipe, but definitely something to look into. It helps. With the diapering, of course, we have been using the triple paste, zinc oxide. Honestly, we use this and we use the this one as well. We keep one downstairs, one upstairs. They're tiny. I don't use this as much. I use it every other day, maybe, especially if I see any redness. I would say they both work fine. I don't have a particular one that I love more than the other one. They're both very thick. Does the job. It goes well with the diapering. It's a diaper caddy. Now, I did vlog it when I purchased this diaper caddy in particular saying that it's not really what I expected. This one is the Parker's Parker's baby. It grew on me. This is how it looks. I have my diapers in here, wipes, I have change of clothes, burp cloths on the side, socks little toys to keep her entertained. Of course, the diaper cream. I keep this on the first floor because on the second floor we have the nursery and we have the bassinet to put all the diapers and everything in. Um, but downstairs, this is everything we need. Bunch of diapers, wipes, and everything else in between. And it keeps everything nicely organized and clean. What we've been using as well is a diaper pail. The one that we have here is it's a diaper genie. We use it every day and multiple times a day, so definitely worth purchasing. When it comes to baby gear, as a newborn, my baby uh, was about six pounds. So we didn't use much of the baby gear we got, so we didn't really use um, the Baby Delight Bouncer or the swing. As a matter of fact, we just got the swing maybe about two weeks ago. You don't really need those things at the beginning, but once the baby was like about three weeks old, we started using the Baby Bouncer. She looked more comfortable in it. Um, the same goes with the swing. But what we have is the Baby Delight uh, Bouncer. We keep it downstairs and let's say if we are cooking or if we are eating, I just like have Having her close to me obviously I can't hold her because my hands are full put her in that bouncer and I, I can bounce her with my foot if she's a little fussy or usually she just looks around definitely a good purchase and the swing also although she's not the biggest fan as of yet I think she stays there for maybe a few maybe 10-15 minutes and then she's done with it but I feel like it will grow on her again when you need those a few moments while you're washing the dishes or doing something else the swing comes in handy so we currently actually do not have a crib 
and of course we will purchase a crib maybe about six months it depends how long she's gonna stay in a bassinet but i think sometime around six months is when we will purchase a crib she will move to her own nursery what we use currently is the bassinet and the pack and play currently behind me you can't see but i will show it to you we use it for naps so whenever she naps uh, during the day we put her here the baby monitor and she's all good when she grows out of the bassinet from our room we will take the pack and play from here and move it to our room and then purchase the crib to be here but for now the pack and play works for us entertaining wise we do have that piano gym she i wouldn't say she loves it yet she doesn't quite i don't think she quite gets it but we use it for tummy time what i do is i put the boppy pillow facing the little piano and we put her on her tummy on the boppy pillow and then turn on the music it keeps her kind of entertained for a little bit not too long <laughs> but it works for us so definitely get something that could entertain her even as a newborn they need something stimulating and to entertain our baby during tummy time we do have this pickup i did get this peekaboo little book it this is how it looks i've heard the babies like these big contrast so white and black and actually she gets entertained by this she would look at the pictures for a little imprints for a while so it's a cheap little book that she enjoys. Another thing that you will need, we've been enjoying, is our stroller. The stroller we have is the Chico stroller. I like it. It's very smooth. It's not too heavy. It's easier to open, to close. Car seat is perfect. Looks very comfortable. She, she loves it. Whenever we go in the walks, again, it's very smooth and I like that. It has a lot of storage underneath it. It's definitely a little pricey, but not as pricey as some of these. The strollers go to thousands of dollars. The once we have mid price like five to six hundred dollars depending on the sale sometimes i saw it for four ninety four eighty so definitely keep an eye on it if you are interested in a stroller like that we were uh, fortunate enough to get it as a gift but even if we didn't get it as a gift i think that's the one that we would have gone with another thing that i didn't even think about until until we had to go to all these different doctor appointments but car mirror for your baby I know some people get the the fancy camera ones i don't need that fancy stuff i love the one we have you can see her very clearly it works perfectly and it's very cheap on amazon and that is all for today's video and i'm hopefully i didn't miss anything but i think that's kind of the essential things that we have been using every day when it comes to clothing i know i didn't really say anything about clothing of course you will need a few cute onesies a few pajamas don't over overdo it. Babies grow quite fast. She was a small baby. She was about six pounds baby. So we ended up getting a few newborn outfits, newborn pajamas. And honestly, we didn't have that many. We had like four pajamas, six onesies, and one outfit. And then she wore those newborn clothing for about two and a half weeks. So right now I have to get the pajamas and store them because she's done with the newborn pajamas. She's also a very long baby, so that might be another reason why she outgrew them so fast. But yeah, when it comes to newborn baby, newborn outfits, don't get too many, get a few. Even if you have a small baby, you don't need that many newborn outfits. Even zero to three, I found myself kind of realizing that she will probably outgrow those very fast too so fun time that's kind of it for today's video this is our must-haves our newborn essentials things that have been working well for us things that we've been using every day if you have recommendation yourself things that helped you out please let us know comment down below your recommendation with things that helped you out and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next one